Hello, everyone. Today, I'm going to talk about dependency injection in Laravel. What is dependency injection? In software engineering, it is a design pattern in which an object receives other objects it depends on. So with this pattern, you can easily implement an uh, interface-based uh, implementation or development. So you don't need to spend too much time in switching between different implementation so that you can wrap different business logic in different implementation for the same interface or same purpose. So if we want to send a message, this is a requirement we can define as an interface. We might send a message via email or WhatsApp. So these two are different implementations. Now let's see how we can implement in Laravel. Now I have already created a sample application called dependency injection example. It's nothing but a simple Laravel example page. I also created a couple of things. First of all, the message service provider. Now you can see here, this is the app message service provider. This is where we, we implement or define the dependency injection logic. This is a service provider, which provides service to the Laravel application in the context. Once we have the provider, we need to register. So we need to go to app.php. There's a providers list with a list of default providers. We also need to put our provider. Let's see the namespace providers. Okay. Providers, app, there's provider. So we put the app message service, message service provider here. It's registered. So we can see how it works shortly. We also define an interface called message service with a send function and two implementation, email message service and WhatsApp message service. It does nothing but print a debug log saying sending message via email and sending message via WhatsApp. What can we do now? How can we de implement dependency injection? We go to service provider. In the register, we are going to register the service implementation. So now we use this app find. Okay, this is where we specify the interface. Interface, what's the interface? Message service, right? So app services, message service. App services, message service. This interface, we define the callback function. Okay, this is where we generate the implementation. Now we want to use uh, email message service. Okay, remember to use the service implementation to import the class to this provider class. Okay, now we have the binding between message service interface and the concrete implementation email message service. Now let's try to use it. I just create a controller called message controller. Let's see message controller. Okay, here we define a function called send. And we want to use message service here as the parameter, function parameter. 
Okay. Now we can call message service send. Ideally here, one debug log entry will be printed and the return. Okay. Now we also need to specify We need to define a route so that we can easily test it. We have message sent. Now we define the action. Action message controller plus and that's it. Uh, if I remember correctly, this is the, the syntax on my b but let's see, API message send. Okay, you can see here status okay. And uh, let's go back here and tail the lock. This is a lock, see, tail, the lock is under storage locks. The default name Laravel.log. So we can see sending message via email. If we call the API again, sending message by email. Okay, let's try to switch the implementation. Now we don't want to use email, we want to use WhatsApp message service. Will it work? Actually, no. Let's see how it, it behaves. So we refresh a page. Mm -hmm. Cool, it's working. I thought I need to clean the cache. Clear the cache, actually not. So this is how the dependency injection work. So there are multiple scenarios that the dependency injection works. So in the application context, so there are multiple places. For example, we, we can change the injection to the function send to the uh, constructor public function construct right so we can also inject message service in the constructor, controller constructor. So in this way, it's inject injected in the controller, controller's constructor. So this is how we can call the um, message service. It will also work. If we refresh a page, actually no, something wrong here. Uh, it's not, my bad, it's not message service. The private variable is service, okay. Look, it's working. Let's see the, the lock. Sending message via WhatsApp. And now we can go back to the provider and uh, change it to email message service. Okay, refresh your page, see the log via email. Okay, so we have a centralized management to the message service implementation. We use a service provider. The provider is registered in the application context. Alternatively, we can also use some environment variable to control the the implementation in use, so we don't need to change the code if we want to switch. Okay, so this is how we can use dependency injection in Laravel. Thanks for watching.
see you next time. I will talk more about the provider. Now we just use the register function today. Uh, in next video, I'm going to talk about the boot function so that you can better use service provider and uh, the dependency injection. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.